Hey guys, it's the Nail Polish Challenge and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this extremely easy chevron gradient nail art design using these awesome vinyls that I got from Stick It Vinyls. So let's get into it. <laughs> For this manicure I'm going to be using base coat, white nail polish, and then I'm going to be using three China Glaze nail polishes in matching colors. I got all the polishes I'm using from HB Beauty Bar. I will put a link in the description. I'm also using Top Coat and as I mentioned before, these Chevron decals from Stick It Vinyls. Uh, this is the first time I used them and I found them to be super awesome, but you'll see. <laughs> they work really well. I'm also going to be using a cosmetic sponge and of course I forgot to film myself using the matte Top Coat, but I always use matte Top Coat. You guys already know that. So I'm going to start off with a fresh nail and some base coat. And once that's dry, I'm just going to be applying one to two coats of my white nail polish. A lot of you guys ask what white nail polish I use. Well, I have a video on it. Also, link in the description. I know, I'm so good to you. <laughs> anyway, once the white is dry, I'm just going to apply a quick coat of top coat over that to protect the white polish from the vinyl. And I'm just going to peel off the vinyl and apply it onto my nail. If you see any little pieces that didn't pop out when you peel it off, you can just poke those out. Now I'm just going to take my cosmetic sponge and I'm going to paint three thin lines with my polishes onto the sponge, making sure that it's nice and saturated. And now I'm just going to sponge it on over the vinyls. Um, these are some light colors, so of course it is going to take more than one coat. I did three coats for this one. Before it gets a chance to dry, you're going to want to peel off the vinyl. If there are any little mistakes, you can just use acetone and a cleanup brush or a small paintbrush to go in and clean up the area. And you can also take a Q-tip and some acetone and clean up around your nails if you forgot to use some sort of liquid latex, like I clearly did. <laughs> um, if there are any mistakes that you want to fix with white nail polish, that also totally works, and I did do that off camera. Once everything's dry, you can finish off with your favorite glossy top coat. And then of course, matte top coat, if you're me. <laughs> And that's it for this nail design. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Got a bunch of fun videos coming up, so I hope you guys stay tuned and make sure you subscribe for more nail art.